Hey, what's going on, guys? So, hey, today we're going to do a video. Should be a quick video, I think. Um, on the best settings that I found for streaming on YouTube as far as quality goes. Um, I moved over from Twitch. Twitch always had uh, really good qual quality streams. I always streamed at, I think, 936p over on Twitch. And it always looked really good. Um, so I decided to make the move over to YouTube to stream. And whenever I streamed, like the first couple of streams, I'd, I'd watch... Uh, I watched my video and noticed that there's some pixelation, some dullness, that kind of thing in, uh, in the stream itself. So I wanted to try to correct that. And there's, from what I found, there's not a lot of information out there. Um, but I did find um, some stuff like on Reddit, I think, um, that might help you guys um, if you're able to do it. Um, like I said, I've got a I've got a dual PC stream. So I have one, one computer sitting over here dedicated to streaming. So it's not touching... Uh, my gaming performance um, it does all the encoding um, so you so you need to make sure that your your computer can handle these settings you need to make sure um, that you have a capture card that can handle it you need to make sure that you've got a you know the CPU inside your your PC um, big thing also for this is going to be your internet I've got gig internet up and down so um, I can pretty much throw what, whatever I want at my uh, my internet service um so w whenever we stream at these settings we actually get um the v what is it the v vp9 codex which is a lot better quality um like i said whenever i stream this way i don't see a lot of the pixelation and that kind of thing within my streams um so it, it, it does look a lot better in my opinion so if it, it's gonna be streaming at 1440p so if you have people that are viewing you they can always uh, view it you know they can they can view it at 1080p they can view it at 720 480 360 144 whatever they want to what, what, however they want to view it they can do that if they want to view it at 1440p great if they can if they can handle it cool um, so I don't see an issue doing this um, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get into the settings and I'll show you guys how I have everything set up in my OBS Okay, guys. So, uh, so I'm on my I'm on my gaming PC here. I've got my I've got OBS installed on here. It's got the same exact settings that um, that my streaming PC does. I just put it on here so that way I can capture a lot easier because I have a vertical monitor over here and it's a little hard to capture video on there with whenever with it's a uh, when it's a vertical monitor. Um, so so let's uh, pull up OBS here. So this is this is the camera I used to use on Twitch. It's the Logitech C930, I believe. Um, this camera here um, is the Razer Kyo Pro. Um, I like it a lot better. It's a 1080p 60 frames uh, camera. Um, so this is uh, my OBS. This is how I have everything set up. Um, these are my scenes. Of course, they don't work because I didn't move all my files and stuff over for them. I've um, got all my oh, my uh, sources here. Avermedia Capture Card is what I use. It's the uh, Avermedia Capture Card 4K 60 frames capture card. Um, so let's uh, dig into the settings here. So of course, uh, we don't really do anything on this tab for the stream on uh, for YouTube because uh, this is all just the general stuff. Uh, but do make sure that your theme is set to dark. Nobody likes the uh, bright colors. Oh, actually, there's new colors in here. I didn't know that. But come on, put it on dark. But anyways, so go over to the streaming tab here. Uh, service you want, of course, is YouTube because that's where we're streaming to. Uh, server, I haven't really found any sort of difference in between the backup and the primary and just servers, so I just keep it on primary. Um, your stream key, you want to put your stream key in right here. So the way you can find your stream key is pull up YouTube, uh, go up to the little camera button up here in the top right, and click on the go live button. Wait for it to load. So right here, you can find your stream key. Um, you can view it here if you want, reset it if you need to for some reason. Sometimes you, if you reset it, uh, or, or whenever you reset it, uh, you reset it because you're having some difficulties with your stream or something like that. Um, you can reset it there. Uh, copy. So what we're gonna do is copy it here. Actually, I'll go ahead and just copy it here. Click the copy button and then you can just paste it here and then hit the apply button. So now you have your stream key in there. And don't ever show anybody your stream key, by the way, because they can technically take that stream key, put it on their OBS and stream to your channel. So don't let people see your stream key, by the way. 
so so in streaming tab here uh, we want to make sure that we're clicked on if you're new to OBS you want to change your output mode to advanced here and then make sure you're on the streaming tab so like I said um, I use a streaming PC I use the CPU only um, so I'm on x264 which uses the CPU there's also an in bank uh, option that you can use for your encoding for your stream I've never used it really or messed with it um, if you want to try messing with it with, with these options you can um, like I said I'm not familiar with it um, so I use the x264 I've got the Ryzen 3800x in my streaming PC so it can handle pretty much a pretty good amount of things that I throw at it it's not bad um, so rescale output you want to leave that unchecked you don't want to rescale it here you can rescale it in the video section I'll get to that here in a minute uh, the rate control uh, I leave that on constant bitrate I've never used anything else in here I've always used constant bitrate even over on twitch um, so for the bitrate this is where you can play around with it a little bit if you have some issues if you drop uh, drop frames or have uh, encoding lag or anything like that you can change the bitrate here um, so so what what YouTube recommends for streaming at 1440p I believe is between 9,000 bitrate and 18,000 bitrate so my happy medium here is going to be 13. I tried to bump it up a little bit and I started getting some encoding lag. So I bumped it back down to a 13. So that's where my happy medium is for my 3800X. Um, leave uh, custom, use custom buffer size, leave that unchecked. Uh, Keyframe interval, I, uh, I use two. I believe that's what YouTube recommends. And then the CPU usage preset here. Um, this is where it matters as far as your stream quality goes if you can move this around you get better quality um, so I use faster if I go any lower so the lower you go on this list the, the better your stream is gonna look but you gotta have a really beefy CPU that can handle this um, so I leave mine on faster usually if I stream it like on twitch it um, whenever I stream on twitch I'll stream at 936 P so I was able to move it down to slow at one point, I believe, to get the nice, crisp, clear stream that I would get. Um, since we're pushing out more bitrate and we're streaming at a higher resolution, um, I'm not gonna be able to push it down that far. So I've got mine set at faster. Very fast, I believe, is uh, is the default value. You can play around with those settings also. Um, if you're starting to drop encoding uh, frames or anything like that, you can change it to a higher, a higher setting there. Um, so for the profile, I leave it set on high. Uh, tune, I don't mess with tune at all, and I don't have any uh, 264 options in here. So let's go over to the video tab. So my base canvas resolution, which is what I game at, is uh, 1440p. So my output scaled resolution, this is what I'm pushing out to my stream. So I've got this set at 2560 by 1440, so it's 1440p. Um, the downscale filter, I've got that set at... Uh, Lanco's uh, sharpening sharpened scaling 36 samples um, you can also play around with this a bit too I believe I believe the default I'm not a hundred percent sure is by cubic uh, 16 samples I think um, so the common frame rates that I use is uh, 60 um, so a couple other settings that I changed and like I said I use a stream PC I'm, I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand that so you guys aren't trying to set this up on a on a just a one PC setup here. So I use a stream PC. So my process uh, priority I set on high. Um, so my CPU is looking at the OBS and setting the priority for OBS at high. Um, so it's 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 making sure that it is the most important thing that it's that that it needs to process. So I've got that set on high. Um, one thing I did change because I was having some issues whenever I moved over to YouTube for streaming. I, like my stream would randomly. Uh, disconnect for some reason I'm not sure exactly why it would disconnect and then reconnect while I was streaming I, I don't I don't know why but I unchecked this box here enabled network optimizations I unchecked that and it seemed to have helped it a little bit um, I, I have gotten like one disconnect before but I was getting a lot more before so I'm not sure if this helped it or not but uh, I would go ahead and leave that unchecked I'm not sure exactly what it does I need to do a little more research on that button um, so that's that's pretty much the settings that I use for streaming at 1440p, and like I said, that's that's the best quality that I've been able to push out, even even downscaling to 10 1080p, 60 frames a second. Um, it still looks fantastic. 
Um, like I said, if you have viewers that are having trouble viewing the 1440p, they can always downscale to 1080p, 720p, 14, uh, I'm sorry, 480, 360, or 144. If uh, if they're that desperate to watch it at 144, because <laughs> it looks awful. Um, but like I said, uh, this is this is for the best quality to get the VP9 codex. And like I said, I use a streaming PC. I'm I'm trying to let you guys know I use a streaming PC to push this stuff out you it's going to be tough to do that with a, a single pc unless you have like one of like, what like the 5900x uh ryzen's or like maybe a thread ripper or something like that and using the the cpu and like i said i haven't used nvenc so you guys can play around with the settings on that and see what you guys can figure out with that um but that that's about it if you guys have any questions or anything like that leave in the comments below i'll i'll answer what i can uh, but that's that's it for the video so i appreciate you guys stopping by peace